everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Jason. And it's time once again... To eat things! Jason, what are we trying today? Cat America Silver Lord Kellogg's um, cereal. Yeah, we're doing another cereal review. Jason and I have not tried this one yet, so we're going to pop this open and try it out for you and tell you if it's any good. Uh, it looks very Lucky Charms to me, Jason. Yes. It's got red and blue shield marshmallows. So even though one side of the box is Captain America and the other side is Iron Man and it's playing up the feud, it's playing up the the war between the superheroes, the super the different superheroes aren't really represented inside the cereal besides the fact that some of the marshmallows are blue and some of them are red. Um, I guess it's kind of, you know, a patriotic sort of thing before it's supposed to be... I, I mean, maybe I'm reading too much into this. Before it's supposed to be just, it's all Captain America shields, because I, one is red, one is blue. They're both, you know, American heroes, and they're both on opposite sides of uh, whether or not superheroes should have to be controlled by the government, which is uh, something I never thought I would be talking about in looking at a cereal. So anyway, uh, this is not like the Batman vs. Superman cereals, mm -mm. where we have two different cereals, and uh, you, you try one and decide if you like it over the other one. This one is just one cereal with Cap on one side and Iron Man on the other side. Who do you like better, Jason? Or are you, are you, I'll ask you the question that Marvel asked Twitter, are you Team Cap or are you Team Iron Man? Um... I think I'm Team Cap. <laughs> Team Cap? Yeah, well, we're, we're, uh, we're, I suppose, kind of on uh, the same. Although, that movie uh, certainly made it very difficult for me to decide who was right and who was wrong in that conflict, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go and pop this open and see what we think of Kellogg's Civil War serial limited time still out right now, as far as I know. Let's try it out. Would you like to try it first? Mm -hmm. So make sure that you have a couple of marshmallows and a couple of regular pieces, okay? There you go. Good. And I'll get a handful as well. Food. Make sure to try the grain pieces as well as the marshmallow pieces. Wow. The marshmallow is good. What? You guys, uh, I mean, review's kind of over. That's, it's, uh, it's Lucky Charms. It's what it is. It tastes just like Lucky Charms. Um, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by this, to be perfectly honest with you. It, it really doesn't taste that different at all from other marshmallow and grain cereals I've had. The marshmallow pieces taste just like the, uh, it's like the marshmallow pieces, as I said, in Lucky Charms. The green pieces may be slightly sweeter, um, but I like I don't know what the I, I don't know what the sugar ratio is right now, even in Lucky Charms. So that could you know it, it could taste exactly like what Lucky Charms tastes like right now. But the blue one tastes kind of kind of um, sweet. Well, yeah, they're they're marshmallows, but the blue and the red taste exactly the same. You want some more? Mm-hmm. It's good, but if you've had uh, any other cereals like this, you've had this before. Um, yeah, not a lot to say. Uh, it, it's when we talked about the Batman and Superman cereals, uh, those were attempts at something very different from what's currently on the market. And as I, and as I said that there with the Batman cereal, especially, uh, I found myself wishing that they would just take that formula and make it something else if they couldn't license Batman all the time, pay for that license. Uh, this is a thing that uh, really is just selling a formula that's that Kellogg's has had for a long time uh, with the likenesses of Iron Man and Captain America. Um, little weak, not impressed. Uh, the box is cool. So, you know, as long as uh, it's not way overpriced over Lucky Charms, when you get it, it might be cool to get it just to uh, keep the box if you collect things like that. Um, but if you've had Lucky Charms, you've had this. And there's not even a variety of different um, marshmallows. Oh. 
what it's, it's just red and blue. It'd be really cool if you had a cereal like this where you had since the Civil War, where if you had you know red and blue, uh, be it marshmallows or some other sort of piece, one tasted a little different than the other one. So you could be like you're on Team Cap's piece or Team Iron Man's piece. You know that'd be cool. But yeah, um, really by the numbers, marshmallow cereal. You have had this before. Anyway, uh, everybody, thanks as always for watching. That's going to be it for us today. Nothing really else to say about this one. Mm -hmm. um, that is the... Unless you had anything, uh, in, anything else to add, Jason. Um, Sorry, I just sort of dominated that. But but uh, yeah. what do you think of it? It's pretty good. It's pretty it's, good? Yeah. D does it feel familiar? Does it feel like you've had this before? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of tastes like something you've had before, right? Mm-hmm. So anyway, anything else you want to say? Mm -mm. All right. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. We sure appreciate it. I am Captain Logan. And I'm Jason. And we'll see you again next time when we'll try some other uh, probably geeky thing for you. And or cereal. <laughs> yeah, or more cereal if we find more cereal. Uh, thanks again for watching. We sure appreciate it. And uh, see you next time. I'm Jason.